I'm Kristen McKeon, product specialist for Daddario Woodwinds. I'm here with Jeffrey Landman. Jeffrey Landman is a professional New York City-based saxophonist. How are you doing today, Jeffrey? I'm doing great, Kristen. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Today we're uh, talking about best practices for neck strap positioning and also hand placement. So what are your thoughts and experiences on this topic? At the core of this is that when we're playing, we don't want to add undue stress or tension. So let me just go about showing you how I set myself up to play. I've got my neck strap here, I'll put it on. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is just having a natural position with our hands. So when I start, I, I want to think about how my hands feel when they're just sort of hanging by my side. Resting. And one thing you'll notice is that our fingers are curved a bit, just naturally. So let's now put the instrument on our neck strap and what I'd like to do is to have those hands at our side and just sort of put them on the instrument in the same position. It, it should feel exactly the same. Now once we're here, let's go ahead and raise the instrument. About like that. Now if it's too low, we're going to be like reaching for the, the mouthpiece, for example, like that, you find that with a lot of young students. And then the opposite of that is too high, where you're literally stretching your neck. You're straining, yeah. Straining to get to the mouthpiece. So it's all about eliminating tension. So the proper neck strap, the mouthpiece rests in our mouth. Our hands relate naturally to the keys. Not any weird hand position here like this. Just nice and relaxed on the keys. If my hands are at a weird angle here, I'm farther away from the keys. It's harder to play fast. It also probably feels tense that way. Yeah. Same idea as, as here. We don't want to create undue tension. Yeah, exactly. You're putting uh, tension on your hands, your ligaments, things that can lead to problems later. You know, I see a lot of people playing saxophone sitting down. So does all of this apply if you're in a different playing position? The same concepts apply, however, the position your neck strap is going to be at might change, but the mouthpiece should still sit naturally in your mouth. Great. This is really helpful. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 